Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to be giving you a full tour of my beauty room. beauty room slash get ready room slash where I keep my fragrances room slash where I edit and like work most people get ready and they go to work wherever that is to me this is <laughs> my work everything is pretty much done in this room from literally the moment that I wake up and I'm getting ready to do my job and then I film in here and then once I'm done filming that I edit in here so as my collection and my stuff has grown it was definitely kind of adamant that I had a room that was separate from like my bedroom especially if you work from home I think it's really important to have I mean if you can obviously to have a room that is separate from where you sleep there's something about your bed being in your workplace that just kind of demotivates you and especially when you work from home and you have your own schedule it's obviously super important that you are super disciplined because everything is up to you there's no boss telling you hey get up do this do this do this everything is on your own time and you can slack off really really easily so i found that whenever i had this space to myself it made such a huge difference to my productivity and my motivation now i do have a few disclaimers and some pretty major life updates to give before we officially get into this video so if you don't want to hear any of this then just skip to this timestamp and just go straight to the tour the things that i'm about to say are really really important so hopefully you stay but it's there if you want to skip it because i know people are always like skip to this timestamp if you want to get to the video so i thought i would just be the one to give it to you this is going to be a very lengthy video because i have a lot of stuff of course i have to give the usual youtube disclaimer i am not trying to brag in any way shape or form this video is insanely requested and another huge reason why i want to do this video is because soon i am going to be moving and I'm not going to have a beauty room to myself anymore and that is because of a very very good and exciting reason which I cannot say I'm an avid believer in not saying your plans out loud I do believe in evil eye and things like that that's not to say that you guys are gonna give me the evil eye but you never know who's watching for me it's always important to say your plans and things after they've happened don't say things prematurely in the next three months our lease ends in this place and after that we're gonna be kind of in a temporary situation because we're gonna be working up to this goal that we have which will be happening sometime mid next year so that's all I'm gonna say in this video when I can talk about it I will and you better believe I'm gonna be super super excited to share that news because that is literally something that I've wanted to do for years and years and years and my husband and I are finally working towards it and I'm just so optimistic for the future unfortunately that's all I can say I hate when people are like um I have something to tell you guys but I can't tell you but I really really can't and as soon as I can I definitely will it's not technically career related it's more like lifestyle change so that was another big reason why I wanted to do this video because I'm not gonna have this beauty room for very much longer and also due to these major life changes I'm also gonna need to downsize a lot <laughs> another reason why I wanted to do this video because it's probably gonna be the last time that I have this many things all in one room organized and I wish I could elaborate on that but I can't now that is not going to change anything about my filming and about my fragrance videos nothing is going to be changing to my channel or my videos or the type of videos that I do nothing like that quick little side note I'm currently editing this video and I realized the way that I was talking about these major life changes almost makes it seem like I'm pregnant or something like that I'm not pregnant nothing of what I'm saying has anything to do with me being pregnant I am definitely not pregnant and I definitely will not be anytime soon so I wanted to get this video out to you guys because I know you've requested it a ton and also I think it'll be fun for me to look back at this video huge disclaimer on the amount of stuff that you're about to see everyone has their own passions and things that you love for me it's beauty and fashion and makeup I've worked at Ulta before I've worked at Target before so I've accumulated a lot of like gratis products and I also had discounts at those stores so that's where my collections grew a ton and that's not to justify anything I don't feel 
feel like I need to justify anything because I've worked really, really hard to get to where I'm at and I bought these things with my own money and I don't think anybody needs to justify or explain why they spend money on the things that they do. As long as you know your business and you're doing things responsibly, then I don't think it's anybody's business what other people do with their money. So I always find this whole thing of people judging people based off of what they buy and what they have super ridiculous because you can literally go buy anything that you want or do anything that you want. If it doesn't affect me, I truly do not care. So this video is for entertainment purposes and I have loyal subscribers on here that want to see this room. So nothing of what I'm saying is me justifying that I have too much stuff. I know I have too much stuff. I have bought it and also keep in mind this is my job This is how I make my money and I'm super super grateful to you guys for getting me to this point Because none of this would have been possible without your constant support So with all that being said before we get into this Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's finally get into this so The rest of this video I'm gonna be filming on my iPhone because my camera if I don't have this little ring light attached to it, then my camera is like super, super dark and you're not gonna be able to see anything. So hopefully the quality is okay. So this is the entry of my beauty room. I have my nail polishes over here. My dad actually built this little organizer for me. This was a period in my life that I was really, really into nail polishes. I'm not anymore. I just get my nails done. And currently I'm actually wearing press-ons. So it's actually been a minute that I've used those. So I need to like just declutter those. I'm moving on, I have this little poster board here. Of some little pictures of my friends and I and my husband. This little area over here is kind of a mess. So I have this little table right here. I bring this out every time I film because I put this next to my camera and I put like my perfumes and things that I'm talking about or my laptop if I need to reference anything. So this is kind of a handy little filming equipment thing. And and then behind that is actually this huge oh my god it's gonna fall apart but it's this huge puzzle that i actually did while i was sick a couple weeks ago because i had nothing but time and that is how i used it so this entire little area right here is kind of like my workstation this is where i edit this is where i draw it's kind of like my little creative artistic area and i absolutely love it and then this little three tier thing is where i keep my jewelry making things and this is actually gonna be an upcoming little project <laughs> that i have in store that i'm actually working on and i've been working on for the past few months so i'm not gonna get into that too much in this video and then over here i have my planner this is obviously where i write down like my video ideas how i plan out my videos how i keep track of like deadlines when i'm working with sponsorships and things like that so that's all in here and this this is a little fyi that i'm gonna give out here i was snacking on these earlier but brazil nuts these things are amazing. If you have any sort of thyroid problems, literally two of these a day have enough selenium to help support a healthy thyroid. So yeah, very random advice in this very non-related video, but check out Brazil Nuts. Here I have my laptop. This is where the magic happens. This is what I use to edit all of my videos. And as far as what I use to edit, I use Final Cut Pro because I know I've gotten questions for that as well. So figured I'd answer. Got my little drinking cup here. My little Caran d'Ache colored pencils. If you know, you know. These colored pencils are literally so expensive. But they are such good quality. And if you're super into drawing like me, then yeah. I don't know why I'm recommending things that have nothing to do with this video. But this is my full room tour. So I'm just going to talk about everything. And then here I have more colored pencils. My Prisma colors. This is like drawing stuff. More Prisma colors. My Arteza color pencils. This cutting board. In here I have like my glue gun. Just work related stuff. And then paint supplies. And then down here, I know it looks kind of messy, but it's actually not. It's just where I store stuff. I have canvases for painting, obviously. My little case for my Ohu markers. My little Sailor Moon painting. So just art related stuff. And then this little organizer thing, I actually made this myself. And I have my markers here, like my drawing markers. These are Ohuhu markers. Again, if you know anything about drawing, then you already know what those are. If you don't, skip over this. This is obviously paint brushes for when I paint scissors just tool type of items and up there i just have this little sign that says hold on i've got to overthink this because that is my entire life this desk and this desk are actually both from target i'm gonna try to tell you guys where like furniture and stuff is from as i go in this video but if i forget just leave me a comment and i'll try to answer moving on over here i have this little lamp i have no idea where this is from probably from like home goods or ross or something like that and then i have this little rolly cart thing i'm pretty sure i got from like michael's it's not very sturdy because it kind of moves around but it holds all of like my sketchbooks and then i have some like sewing products again just more like art work drawing related stuff moving on to this little section this is where i get ready every single day 
This is my little vanity. I love this area. It kind of goes up to here. And then also these two drawers are also related to my vanity. So this little drawer set is obviously from Ikea. I feel like most people know where this is from because most like beauty gurus have this little drawer. But it is perfect for makeup. I've had it for a few years and it still looks just as good as new. This is my little skincare little tray. I got this little rotating thing from walmart actually and yeah this has all of my skincare and now let me get into this so this is where most of my makeup is at but i also have more over here so this first drawer has highlighters again i have a lot of stuff okay i've been collecting this stuff for years and as i said in the beginning i've worked at ulta i've worked at target so i got a lot of stuff for free and also major discounts this one has my drugstore bronzers and then this is drugstore blushes and then this is my high-end blush bronzer and i don't think highlighters are in here but just my more like high-end face products this is my little eye drawer so here i have eyeliners and i also have my little rare beauty cream eyeshadows that i just got here are eyeliners that i pretty much use every single day you guys know my little signature is my liquid liner this is all my brow stuff that i use and then a ton of mascaras i honestly have way too much mascara and honestly a lot of these are expired so i need to just go through them and get rid of a bunch i have this which looks super random in here but this is for if i want to do soap brows which i honestly should probably get rid of i actually have this which is an actual soap brow little thing from elf so I need to just get rid of that. This is where I keep all my powders, like setting powders, loose powders, all my powders. This is where I keep my lipsticks. This is actually just my drugstore lipsticks. Like these are actual just lipsticks. No lip glosses, no liquid lipsticks. I have those all separated. These little dividers i got from amazon these are amazing you can divide these into like any size so you can store any kind of thing with these dividers but they're super helpful and then this is my liquid lipsticks that are drugstore and then down here i actually have empty right now because i recently just emptied these out and put it in that drawer right there because it was kind of getting a little much but this is where my glosses were at like my drugstore glosses so that's currently empty. I need to figure out what to do with that. And then here's my little workstation. I have all my brushes along here. So all my face brushes and then my eye brushes. This little light up mirror is actually from Marshalls. I always see these at like Home Goods, Marshalls, Ross. So you can always get them there. I have my little makeup puff that I use every single day. My beauty blenders, use those every single day. Well, every single day that I do my makeup anyway. And then up there, I have two little like headbands that I use to put my hair with as I'm getting ready. I always get questions about these little flower shells, which I kind of have all over this room, like over there too. And these are actually from Five Below. So yeah, they were literally five bucks and I love them. They're super cute. Over here in this little clear divider, I got these. It's actually two separate ones that I've stacked on top of each other, but I got these at Marshalls. And in here, I keep my liquid blushes more liquid blushes liquid slash cream bronzers this is all my mac lipsticks and yeah i have a ton and then more high-end lip products all my mario lipsticks and then just more lipsticks this one has some high-end glosses and then this one has Oops, this one has my cream slash liquid highlights. And then up here, I have all of my lip liners. And again, I kind of have this sort of divided with, well, I had it because now it's a jumbled up mess because I use this every single day. But I had it so that it was divided between like drugstore and high end just so that I knew what I was grabbing. But now it's all jumbled up, so... Yeah. Moving on to this little corner. These two look very similar to the Ikea drawer, but they're actually from Michaels. And it's actually just two separate five-tier drawers. So this is a nice little idea if you have a Michaels near you, but not an Ikea. Because it kind of gives the same look. Up here, I have this little thing. I just have like some little earrings and things that I take off and forget to actually put them away. First drawer in here is like bigger face palettes that don't fit in my Ikea drawers. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into this too much, but yeah, bigger face palettes, you get it. This has bigger, more bigger face palettes. A lot of like blushes in here, my favorite. 
the Juvia's like duo blushes. Down here is cream eyeshadows and liquid eyeshadows and some like eyeshadow sticks. And then this one has single eyeshadows, more single eyeshadows, and more single eyeshadows. A lot of my ColourPop ones here. And then here is smaller eyeshadow palettes. The rest of them I have in here, which is kind of embarrassing because I have way too much. But these are like my smaller shadows. This drawer is honestly a jumbled up mess, so I'm not even going to get into that. But in here, I have have some like jewelry stuff this is where whenever i do my like little bedazzled looks i have like rhinestones and some fake blood down here i have makeup sponges my little puffs and then my little shiseido cotton pads that i use whenever i apply my toners down here i have my primers like face primers and very last here i have my giant palettes that don't fit anywhere like just really bulky kind of awkwardly sized palettes and a lot of these again i've had for trillions and trillions of years so i should probably throw some stuff away i just haven't done like a huge declutter and then here i have my little chair over here i have lip products this is like a bunch of lip plumping stuff this is where i keep a bunch of moisturizing lip stuff and then more lip balm type things and then here is some cotton pads that i use for my toners and back there i have my bag balm then in here this drawer kind of looks a little messy like things are thrown everywhere but i promise this is actually pretty organized this is like my tools that i use almost every day so like my little scissor i use these to cut up my lashes my eyelash glues my tweezers my eyelash curler rubbing alcohol i used to like disinfect some eyelash serums lighters from when i light my candles things like that I have a fan whenever i'm drying off my face from setting spray this little palette for foundation, some wax strips, this, which I use to dye my eyebrows. It's like a beard <laughs> dye. Lip scrub, lip products. This is like a little makeup remover I keep here just for whenever I'm doing like messy makeup looks. Some tape again for eyeshadow and just some little clips to clip back my hair. And then in this last drawer, I have all of my foundations, like complexion products. I kind of have this organized again with like drugstore and high end and then random. My setting sprays are over here and then all my concealers are over here. All right, so we're done with the whole vanity. And then this little dresser, this is actually from Ikea. I love this, it's super spacious. It fits a ton of stuff. And on top of it, I have this little... Again, these are two like separate clear containers from Marshalls. I love these because they just display everything so pretty. Just tons and tons more lip products. It's just like a little decorative thing. Um, all my Sol de Janeiro mists are here. And then my little Prada sunglasses. And then this little tray I actually got from Amazon and I love it. I used to display my perfumes. Oops. Well, now I'm never going to be able to get that. Anyways, I used to display my perfumes on here, but the sun was right here. So then I decided to move my perfumes because I didn't want them to be too close to the sun. This candle, I have to talk about this candle for a second because this candle is from Walmart and it smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge. So if you want a candle dupe for Baccarat Rouge, Amber and Saffron by this brand is the way to go. It smells so good. I have some little pictures of my family and my husband and I and this little just decorative crap. And then actually in these drawers, again, I'm like embarrassed to show this drawer. It's like literally so heavy because it's full. In this drawer, I have makeup palettes. Just the mother of all eyeshadow palettes is in this drawer. I love this drawer because I love eyeshadow. I love playing with eyeshadow and this is where all of it lives. So I'm not really going to get into this in depth because it's a lot, but yeah, you get it. And then these two are actually just clothes that I don't have in my actual closet. I just put them in here like sweatpants and then like my bathing suits. This is the last like makeup thing again i told you i had a lot of freaking lip products but this is all my drugstore glosses move these from that little drawer because it was getting too much in there and i wanted to be able to see them because i was kind of forgetting that i had a lot of stuff so i just put them in here more clothes this is my gym stuff so this is my leggings and sports bras things like that just more like gym stuff okay, this little lamp is from walmart and here i have my little Mugler body cream that I love, my product case for my sunglasses, and this little mirror. I actually made this for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it's a mirror. Up there, I have a little hanging plant. 
I love that. I have no idea where it's from, like probably Marshalls or TJ Maxx, something like that. These little things, this is actually, again, two separate things I've stacked on top of it. I got these at Target and then the little cube things I love. It's like wooden. I got them from Walmart and I love these. Like it's actually wood and they just look a lot more sleek than some other cloth ones that I used to have here. To be honest, there's so much random crap in these that... I don't know if I can even get into all of it. I'm not even going to go up there because, first of all, I don't even know. I think this one has some, like, technology stuff, and I have no idea what it's in there. This one is empty right now. This one has packaging stuff for my Mercari orders. Oops, too far. This one is actually also empty. This is where I have eyelashes. This has all the stuff that is up on my Mercari right now, like everything that is available on there. So if you wanna know what's in there, you can check out my Mercari. It'll be linked in my description box. In here, I have like bathing suit cover-ups. This I'm not gonna open because this is my little perfume haul drawer thing. So I'm not gonna open that because that is for future videos. And same thing goes for this drawer. And then down here, I have my other mists. Like, these are mists that are not Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret. This is some body creams and some little minis. I have my lotions and some Victoria's Secret sprays that are in this packaging. And then some lotions from there as well. And we have finally made it to my fragrance area. So this is what you guys see in the background of all my YouTube videos. These are actually bookshelves. I got them both from Target. They were super inexpensive and this is just how i chose to store my fragrances and i really really love it i love how everything looks so i'm not gonna get into like talking about every single thing because obviously this is just kind of like an overview sort of tour so i will be doing more of like an in-depth collection video on these so that'll come at some point but as far as what i have here up there i have travel size perfumes and then my little travel size makeup case that's from amazon and then this little two-tier thing i don't know i don't know why i have that up there here i have some of my books i'm currently reading this book by matthew mcconaughey it's actually so good i love like self-help type of books so that's a lot of what i have this top row here is where i have my collaboration fragrances like just brands that i've worked with so i'll be layered my dossier scents scent burned my Addict fragrances, Juliana's fragrances. So that's all there. And then these three is all of my body mist. So up here is all my Victoria's Secret body mist. And then these two are all my Bath & Body Works body mist, which I obviously have a lot more of. Um, and then this is kind of the start of my perfume collection. So the way that I kind of have my perfume collection organized is like my affordable fragrances are here. These ones are a little bit more pricey, but still affordable. And then I have these two of my designers. And then up here, I have my more niche sort of fragrances. And I have this little Prada book. I got this at Home Goods. My Delina is up here. I love the packaging of this. And then my Louboutins. And then moving on from this area, we're kind of getting to the end of it. Finally, I feel like I've been talking for three hours. But this little mirror is actually a jewelry. Well, it is a mirror, which I actually cracked. So that's great for me. But this mirror is actually a jewelry little case. So this is where I have all my jewelry. Necklaces, earrings, more earrings and rings, more necklaces. All my Ana Luisa pouches, I've worked with Ana Luisa so many times in the past and I keep all these because I love traveling with these and pretty soon I'm gonna have to downsize because I will be traveling in the near future. So I'm gonna have to see what I'm gonna do with all these like boxes and things and then just some little like earrings, my gold hoops, more hoops, bracelets, more bracelets and then more bracelets. And then down here I have my well these are my arm cuffs and a bunch of sunglasses and some little things i recently just got these from timu like some hair accessories i need to put those away in my actual like hair drawer that i have like in my bathroom but this is mainly where my sunglasses live and some little arm cuffs and then moving on to this little area i love this because this is kind of like my little reading area or i edit here it's just like a little comfy area sometimes i even film here but i just love the whole vibe here and, and just the setup is super cozy and then this rack actually has all of my amazon clothes which i've actually been meaning to do a video on so that's kind of strategically there because i really really want to do a video on all this stuff and then back here is my little basket that has well i have some weights there for whenever i do like home workouts and then some like my laptop charger and there's like the electronic stuff 
but yeah that's this little area this plant is from target that little good vibe sign i got from amazon the little flower shelves like i said i got those from five below and then this little leaf light thing is actually from walmart this little seat is from walmart the pillows are from five below and I think this little thing is from Five Below and so is that little carpet. And then this is actually a closet, which we're not going to go into because it has nothing to do with this room. And this is where my camera equipment stays. So my ring light, which is phased backwards right now, my ring light, my camera, tripod, chargers, just it's kind of like a messy area, but it's just where things are. But all right, so that concludes my entire workspace, beauty room, fragrance room whatever you want to call it room that is everything in this room i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry that it was super super long but you already know that is the format of all my videos so you either love it or you hate it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye